to another episode of Retro Gaming. I am Will Farrow. I am Patrick Clown. I am Quino Thomas. And today we are taking it back old school. Thank you to the folks at Retro Bit. Mm. Retro Brit, uh, excuse me, Retro Bit sent us a gang of stuff for, for us to go back in time to the classics. Yeah. The 8 bits, the 16 bit classic mm-hmm. games, man. I'm talking Burger Time. Uh, mm-hmm. Pat's favorite Super Burger time. <laughs> Mega uh, Man. Mega Man. Strider. Yeah. Double Dragons. What else, what else we had? We got uh, this. What about the dudes game? What's the dudes game? Oh, Bad you? Dudes. Bad Dudes. Bad Dudes 1 and 2. Bad yes. Dudes. And of course, Ghosts and Ghouls. Mm-hmm. Oh, see the demons time. getting all close? Yep. I love this game. This Man. game is it's just it's just good. You gave it like the best description of this game. I missed, I, I said it's ghouls and ghosts. I said ghosts and ghouls. It's super ghouls and ghosts, and it is pretty much Mega Man in a graveyard. Yeah. So it's difficult as hell, Yeah. obviously. Um, but just as like the aesthetic is dope. You see right now we're on a haunted ship. I don't even know if we're going to get there today because it is that difficult. It is that hard. You it's, know, we gave it a few pro, uh, you know, run-throughs already just trying to get... Ooh. Wow, it's a green armor too now? Okay. Super. I might just start watching the computer go. Right? Look at the weapon. We've never even got that weapon that he has now. Like an ice sword or something. What is this? Oh, and, and if it didn't make it any heat uh, harder, the water is rising. Look at the ghost semen. Yeah. The ghost semen? <laughs> oh, you broke the whole shit. Now you're oh. naked on the shit. The green? The green is only worth yeah, one? Now he's dead. See, Bye-bye. even the computer can't beat it. Nope. We're going to go ahead and jump into it, see what I can do. Look at the townsfolk. Okay. Uh, Ghouls and ghosts. Right. Well, that brings up a good cop topic conversation. Real Let's quick, look at the princess. Ain't a white haired, white white girl with blue blonde hair, blue eyes. This nah, is a no, Latina girl. Thick. Thick. Mm. That girl name is Rosen. He mm. about to get it on. They about to they about to get it popping when evil strikes. And I feel like evil and the, the biggest cock block. biggest cock block of oh, all yeah. time. Yeah, that and dragons. <clears throat> Anything with wings, actually. Look at that. That's, That's like what would happen if Elmo went bad. Man, like that's what that was Elmo went to, to hell. Elmo <laughs> calls back like fuck Sesame Street. Jesus, man. the ship was level two, and we've never wow. seen it. Oh man, we've, we've never, never seen, seen it. it. No. All right, well, jump it in. Funny. Oh yeah. So what was the? It, it, what would you think would be a great lead in for this? Come on. So I have a question actually after seeing this. Okay. So now we talked about being in the Roman times and everything like that. Uh, Egypt. Man. We've explored like what we would be, what we would do. Here's my question now. We're in the medieval times, I take okay. it. You know, the Renaissance era. Hear ye, hear ye. Hear ye, hear ye. Yeah. Era. Yeah. What would y'all be doing during this time? Because clearly there's knights, oh, my nigga. blacksmith, jokers, there's procure of uh oh. not maidens, but what was the other one you said? Winches. Winches. A procure of <laughs> winches. <laughs> Yeah. What would y'all be? I say, for winches. right? I had a thing for those ratchet winches back in good old you sullen winch. Thirteen forty two. I would work a double job. Okay. Um, I would be part time blacksmith mm-hmm. that made all the coolest weapons. So I was cool with all the warriors. You know what I mean? Give you a hookup. I'm, I'm slinging the maxes, slinging the swords, but I also got a lot of downtime to practice, so I'm nice with it too. Nice. Okay. And then second half of the day, nighttime, I run a brothel. <laughs> Clouds Coochie Cave. What? <laughs> <laughs> Clouds sold Coochie out cave. every night. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, it just just that name alone. Like I can just see it in the old wood with your like mm-hmm. cloud right there. Yeah. The business is so good that blacksmith and you know, I don't think people are buying swords every day. So yeah, especially if they're good. They might be. You I mean not if your swords are good. You got a one time customer and then that's it. Well so you might be procuring all of England and the rest of them people and Henry the Third and the Queen. I don't know their history like that. I'm just throwing out names I, I heard in white history. <laughs> don't even know if all these people were alive at the same time. Don't even know. No, not don't even, even know the sure word. About that. So uh Cleo, what about you? What, I where think, would you be? I think I would be inside the kingdom somewhere, maybe at night, maybe, you know. You're, you're, you're down to fight for the princess and the king? I'm down to fight for the princess and the king. Uh, but at the same time, I am one of Mr. Cloud's favorite customers to I'm come and visit. Patron? <laughs> you got, you got to be. You got to be. Sir Cleo, 
Are you here for your eight o'clock rub a tub? Uh, you know it. Bro. Rub and tug. Thank you so much <laughs> for providing this for us. This is, war is hard. War no, war I got I gotta supply the warrior because I am about to lay down my life for the for the king for him to be like he was a good lad. And that's it. That's, and that's all that's you get. It. You get a hot dog and a handshake. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> Oh, you have a sword put on both shoulders. That's it. <laughs> yeah, been Which knighted, is, sir. Like, can we talk about that process for a second? Yes. Getting that, yeah, like, I'm going to put this sword on your shoulders. Like, I we mean, don't look at that as a tiny bit sus. No, not at all. I, I think it's dope. Uh, it's like, that, oh, come on. You know, there's yeah. nothing sus about getting knighted. Uh, getting knighted is tight. Oh, man, you know, standing over me, like, bow, you know, bow. crotch right there. I've seen a female do it. I've always seen a female do it, too. Y'all never seen a dude do it? Well, no, no, no. Like yeah, yeah. Tonight, 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 yeah, I have seen a dude, yeah, in, uh, in movies. Uh, that would also be a good question that I, I'm going to ask in just a little bit, but to answer the first question for myself, uh, I've heard y'all too, and so here's my thing. I, would, I wouldn't want to do the blacksmith thing because I feel like they didn't take baths back then, so you kind of stink. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't want to be all in the hot-ass sun, but I'm definitely not... Uh, down to that. Oh, you turned into a baby. I turned Just into a freaking. <laughs> I like how he jumps. Uh, yeah. Oh, you were kind of evasive as a baby, too. Right. Now, your crawl Damn it. Your crawl game is on point. So, I'm definitely not trying to die for queen and country. So, uh, I'm going to be in there with the boy Merlin. I'll, I'll be, be a wizard and princess. Uh, yeah, I'll be a wizard, you know, consultant, be there in the books medieval, and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, writing. That's what that be me. I'd be the nigga You'd with the a, books. With the spells. Yes. Yeah. I'm a scholar. Like, thank you, man, you wake up. And then Felicia said, mm, Please, I mean, sir, can you bust this wide open? Are you are you popping into the brothel? Because I feel like those guys are virgins. Well, man, look, listen, <laughs> I'm in the brothel, like I'm in the brothel on the wrong times. I'll be there like at 10 a.m. with like a wine cup. Oh, so you're just all around. Okay. Okay, so you're a weirdo. I, yeah. <laughs> He's there know? for conversation, Pat, not company. Yeah. <laughs> but at night, I got, like, my selective one I want. Like, you like, I got a particular one I'm, I'm always searching for. But gotta, still, I feel like me and all the staff know you by name. We kind of talk about you behind your back. Like, just, oh, a little, just a little He's, bit. Like, He's here again. It's, uh, it's 9 a.m., man. What's, what's going on with this guy? No, the porridge is not ready. He smells like spells. <laughs> <laughs> come, in, come in smelling like I have newt. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls complain. This thing, is, oh. this thing smells like a lizard's tongue. <laughs> Boy, please, oh, sir, stop spreading Bane's wolf on you when you come in here. Jesus Christ. The Jesus. women have been complaining. <laughs> yeah, I was That's over there funny. with the bitches with the long noses and cauldrons. I because everybody seemed like they were weird back then. So who was yeah. the who was the weirdos? Was the was the wizards back then? Like was the were they getting any action? No, nah, because I, I mean, I think they were. Like I said, I think uh, if you, and this is just basic. Oh, no! Trap. You're too trusting, man. I was too trusting. Them chests saying all day. Cracked up to be. Exactly. Oh, there not. Um, I feel like they were kind of like the people that they went to for advice and was kind of like the people that aided them in doing stuff. I'm purely basing this off Game of Thrones, but uh, far as scholars go, now, if I was with Merlin, I feel like I'd be like a secret agent. See, you a knight, and I'd be helping you. Like, I'd be blessing your sword so that shit don't break and can set on fire and stuff. I'm mad at that. I'm yeah. mad at that. I wouldn't mind coming to see the homie Will. Yeah. You, you know, know, coming to Merlin's shack. You know, you I'm here to see what Mother. I, I, I got to stop by to, you know, bless some of the blacksmith stuff. Mm -hmm. Get my yep. sails up. Mm -hmm. And then you be coming by weed for me. There you go. I need to smoke when I'm a right. blacksmith. And yo, and yo, fucking, uh, what are they again? Not maidens, but wenches. 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 Your wenches gonna need that for all that shit. They gonna be taking. Right. Especially my main wench. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna <laughs> run, run, run. Oh, no. No. Oh, You made that. Hey, his his double jump is legit. Yeah. <laughs> Low key is fucking with Mario's. <laughs> Real talk, man. Okay, so another question I have because of this game: If you were to be knighted, who past, present? Future, if you want to think about it, uh, dead alive don't matter. Who would you want to be knighted by? Morgan Freeman. Mm -hmm. That's a sound choice, sir. It's a real sound you choice. You want Morgan Freeman to knight you? That'd be so tight. Imagine the announcement. You are hereby knighted by Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Is that your Morgan Freeman voice? I don't know. You know. <laughs> you know. I thought it was pretty good. You know. It's very nasally. <laughs> Or Neil deGrasse Tyson. That'd be epic. 
Neil, the people love that guy. They do. Why, why do they? I don't. Apparently, he was in the Me Too movement. I don't know. It's just super weird. I did hear that as well. <laughs> uh, Cleo, what about you? Who would you want to be knighted by? I would want to be knighted by uh, Mark Hamill, like a Jedi. Okay. Yeah. His but he'd have, he, he'd have to do, trash, though. He'd have to do that, uh, Luke Skywalker, and then when he actually introduces me, though, he has to do it as Joker. Okay. He has to do it as Luke first, okay. and then switch to Joker somewhere. He just got voice acting. Yeah. Your knighting is a is is. You just said here instead of how that sounds. But it's with still it's still royalty level. But you look at more. Like, <laughs> yes, Cleo. <laughs> People of royalty are gonna be like, what is this? Is this a show? <laughs> is this the entertainment? Is, that is this the justice? Is that what the Negro boy is here for? That's <laughs> <laughs> oh what the Negro boy is here for. You gotta think, even back in those times, was Negro and nigger were like, could that be said back then? Was that oh, something yeah. even in their like, how though? Because they, at that point, they were probably so royalty that they didn't even hear the offense in it. <laughs> They're like, oh, mm. send the nigger boy to get me some... <laughs> Some ale. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just how white people talk, especially rich white people. They didn't give a damn damn. They didn't give two shits, man. Oh, nice. You got a little, you got a little spear on. Let's go. Bitch, come this way. I'm trying to think. Like, I've never seen like every time they have like they just came back from war or they're at that huge table with like let's feast. There's never anything fire on the table. Huh? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, no, no, you're right. The, the food didn't never look appealing. Never. Ever. I can't think of a dish for that. It's, like it's always a turkey, a pig, and like the king is always just hands all in the shit. That's what I'm saying. Everything's greasy. Gross. I know that's, that meat ain't seasoned right. Yeah. So, you, you know, we, we, we look at history, we, you know, social studies books. And does anyone remember like these chapters on spices? Does anyone remember like when they would talk about... Yes. With how... With, like, Native Americans? Native Americans, or they would talk about, like, Colum Christopher Columbus and, like, the, this... this. He, would, he would bring many spices along with gold because they couldn't afford shit else. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think in the context of um, uh, imports and growing, not okay. in terms of, like, seasoning or anything. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I, I thought it was... The, after a while, like, you know, in my own head, I've been like, wait, did they mean, like, actual, like, seasoning? For food, because they I mean, no, some just said you're insane that they would no, see some of the wood back there. So it would be like crack pepper or like cayenne and stuff like that, but it was used for like different things too. Like refrigerate, they didn't have refrigerators, so they had to salt and do all that stuff to the meat so that it wasn't spoiled. Yeah, okay. as opposed to for flavor, mm -hmm. um, or to like uh, dry it out, like beef to make jerky. Yeah, they were procuring oh, it. But I don't think they were. You know, I don't think they're important like lemon pepper. <laughs> and like garlic salt. Yeah, for the lemon pepper, I think it was like coffee and I know that's not seasoning, but like yeah. just like those kind of imports. Can I get some uh Sir Tony Sasheries added to the list? Some sir? Sage. I think they they had seasons. I think they were seasoning the meat, but they just weren't seasoning it well or enough. <laughs> no, not, at all. not at all. I don't know if they had the good stuff back then. Oh, God. And since we're talking about food um, from medieval times, have any of you guys ever been to medieval times? I've never been, and I no. really want to go enjoy that. One. Let's. Wait. Go. Can we plan Wait. that? Wait a minute. Wait. Medieval times is real? Oh, oh shit. Yeah. That's a real place? You're going to like this. Yeah, man. What? Yeah. So basically. It's like a, uh, it's it's kind of not in LA, so I can see why you've never heard of it. But it's no, like, I heard it in, mo in a movie, but I just thought they had put it there for the movie. No, 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 no. Well, Medieval Times is a chapter in history. Like, no, 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 no. I can't remember what the movie it was, but it was like it was a restaurant called Medieval Times. Oh and yeah. It was like gestures yep. and all these things, but it was like in a movie, so I just thought they had made it up. No, it's for a the sake of the movie. I didn't know that that was a real place. You basically go. You can have like birthday parties there and stuff, or you can just see a show. And it's like it's literally like there's like a black night, and you're like in a, a, a circle like coliseum, and you have like teams based on color. You okay, man? You just need a breather? Jesus Christ. I'm Cleo, sorry. You Cleo, got through a lot. Cleo's getting it in. All right, yeah. so we played this earlier, and Cleo finally passed this part. We, we were trash, but a tidal wave just comes out of nowhere. Um, and so maybe this like to, maybe this little this? segmented spot. Sit here, maybe? Yes. Nice. Okay. Now there's an eye coming for you. 
Oh, as if there's not already a tidal wave. Oh, maybe there's just one tidal wave to make it this difficult. Nice! Yo, we are moving. Just Sam, oh, yeah. Sam. Boom. I don't want to play with them. Nice. Got them. Got you. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's taking off more and more each time. Right. It's right when he gets to the stone. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Hey! 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 He did it! What else we got? This is the furthest we've got. Give me some. Jesus, guys, we'll have that too. Yeah. <laughs> furthest we've got in this damn game. I called my brother earlier and he's like, yeah, that game is not easy. Yeah, to play. Zordon doesn't think it's easy. <laughs> yeah, this is impossible. <laughs> He said, no, he said it was impossible, so. Oh, he did? Yes. He said the I word. Ah. Oh. What was, oh, was this just growing uh, brains back? Just, just growing. Let's see if it gives us a. Hey, you did it, and that's all that matters. Games back then were too damn difficult. There's no wonder this guy made it into Marvel vs. Capcom. Yep. Yeah, he should have been a main player. A little right. Because he has hella weapons. This dude went through so much. We need to convince the creators of Smash to play this game again so that they can put him in Super Smash Bros. I've been there like for it. I've seen a couple of things. I'm sure I speed run this in the hands. Oh! 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 Okay! Okay, we continue it. Now we. Okay, um, and, and it was after a game over, so. Here we go. I guess we have to play this until we die. Or else. Uh, let's get it. Come on, you bring Now, us. here's something I gotta ask y'all about. Um, if y'all would be down to do this. So I know there was sports back in the gap when there would be an evil times, which was called jousting. Heck yeah. So, you jousted or not? I'm watching joust. Yeah, I can sit there and enjoy the show, but I don't know about getting on a horse, sticking a big ass javelin out, and just allowing it to hit. Oh! Allowing another guy to just ram me in the chest with it. Well, that's if he, he hits you. It's about who hits who first. True. This is true. You could get missed. But imagine that hit. Woo! Woo! Mm. All your ribs. I don't. I have a feeling in this game is the perfect uh, time to bring this up. I have a feeling that armor didn't work that well. Nah, I, I agree. You know what I mean? I mean like, you get the, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. The, the chain link that's supposed to stop a sword. It's like if a dude hits you with a sword on the collarbone. Like I don't know. Even even if it stopped the sword, that impact. Like, your bones might be done. I feel like it's good to take, Can you destroy like, this yeah. Don't jump on Here you go. Nope. Well, you ain't going over. Indestructible. Uh, good job. Oh. oh. This slow, this slow hit. That frame killing. rate is ridiculous. Here we go. Oh! oh that, 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 jump, that jump button doesn't feel like it's the jump button. Do you see doesn't. how they set us up, though? Do you see that... that it breaks down, and then yep. there's another guy waiting right on the other end. Mm -hmm. Shinra, I can you let this happen. Please. This is very difficult. Yeah, I think I'm with you, Pat. I'm in the crowd with the maidens, <laughs> and you know, my robe on and shit like that, looking sophisticated as fuck, just watching this jousting going. You know what I would do? I'd promote the hell out of these jousts. <laughs> this is true. Hey, but yo. you making money anyway, because you got the after party to take care of. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Hey. But that's that's how I can promote it. <laughs> Be like, yo, we got a fight at the Coliseum. Come through. We got ale, wenches. <laughs> wenches? We, we got, got ale. ale. And then wenches. at, at 5.30 p.m. when it ends, it seems like those guys are early early guys. Early early. <laughs> right? They don't, they don't stay up late. 5.30 p.m., that's the after party. So now here's my question, Pat. Now what what is your establishment called again? Uh, Clouds Coochie Cave. Clouds Coochie Cave. Yes. All right. First, first I just gotta oh, know. Oh my God. God. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, no that, was, is, that was stressful. This is all very that was stressful. stressful. What what's what served? I know winches, but like if you had like a list of, of drinks, what? Oh, what? oh, oh my God. Oh my oh, you God. Got God. Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep the... going. Watch out for that egg. If you can hit oh, that, there you go. Keep throwing. Just uh, keep going. I need to know if there would be lemon pepper wings at Cloud's Cave. <laughs> oh, yeah. The only ones that are imported. And I get them cheap because they don't even know what I'm doing with it. What are you doing with it? Seasoning meat. They're like, what the hell do you need lemon pepper or garlic, garlic salt for? And I'm like, just watch. Got and you, see, you should see the white people's face when they eat my, when they eat my wings after eating some vagina. Now, you know where you got that from. 
We call that the two piece. He got that from Will Salted Meats back in the Egyptian time where I was chilling <laughs> salt and meats and yeah. just you know, yeah. The cloud was coming in with the rugs and yeah. all the uh the fur and stuff. I was like, yo man, you know you should oh. pass this out to your right. ancestors. There you go. Your descendants there and go. stuff. There you, you go. You know, some lemon, a uh, little yellow things that be hanging on them trees, you yeah. just take that. Some of the little pepper barrels and you just mix it in. I love Got it. Great, great little I sauce. I can love it. Oh, oh that damn ceiling. ceiling. You got to clear the ceiling. I would definitely be pulling up to Cloud's Coochie Cave for not only the coochie, but the lemon pepper wings as hey, well. That's what I'm saying. And oh. I need the finest of ales. We call it we call it the two piece. You get a you get a chicken and some some thing of wings. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then we got all the best ales. We got a henna sale. We got we got we got, we got sorrel. <laughs> sorrel. <laughs> That's definitely in my world. We got Tekel. <laughs> we got it all. <laughs> all whatever ails. So you got Patrill. Man, we got all that. We got Moonshine, 1X, 2X, and 3X. God darn it. For the, for the alcoholics. Okay. We got the worst weapon right now. So do, that bird, do you have performances at the Coochie K? Oh, you're the performance at the Coochie K. We don't got no live show. The live show just happened. That was the jousting. Okay. Right? okay. We do got live music uh, every Thursday. During, well, who's performing? During the day. Oh, During yeah. the day, you gotta have it at night too. When we be nah, drunk I'm, and I'm fucked up, something else. People who at night they just want to come through and order seven wenches, maybe a midget. Nigga, and they, they do be, have midgets. They be drinking, uh, uh, uh. talking shit. You That's know how many fights break out at the fucking slut hut? Not mine. Oh, it don't I, happen at the coochie game. I got security. I'm, I'm a part-time blacksmith. I got crazy security. Uh, uh, that's that's just true. Nice. I want to feel the torches for this part. Oh, okay. Damn. That one, it's that one. Oh. This, this is, this is, you think this is harder than Mega Man? Dude, uh, Retro K, we will say this. Um, as great as it is to have these old school games, 8 bit, 16 bit, immediately on demand to play, you gotta figure out this remote controller. Oh man. You gotta so figure out the back and forward because that is not okay for people who, especially for us, who've now been so trained to be so precision with a D pad. I mean, I'm not gonna lie though, I think that's the thing that has really changed a lot about gaming is that you start to remember that all of this stuff wasn't on time and everything. Like, you kind of had to time these things. It yeah. wasn't real time. So it's like, that's the thing we kind of got used to, uh -huh. and that's what we're seeing now. So, we just gotta find a different way to be able to get it going. Jump! Ah! See, like, right there, he pad you would have jumped up, but like, there you have to stop, let it come to you, and jump up. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, I got nervous. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> Retro Kid has a whole bunch of other items, don't they, Pat? Yes. So they actually sent us, maybe because they knew about the controllers, they sent me a lot of controllers that were specific with some of these uh, systems. I just didn't have enough room uh, to take everything. But yeah, we also got a Tribute 64 controller that's kind of like reminiscent of the 64. We got, I got another system um, that uh, plays... This caveman game that I'm actually not familiar with. Um, maybe Will has heard of it. What? Uh, where's the box? Okay. Will, have you ever heard of Joe and Mac? Yes. Yeah. That's on here. Yes. What? It's on here. Yeah. What's it like? What is it? Joe. Uh. Oh. Uh, fuck. Y'all gonna really take me back to this? It was like an old arcade game. Hella random. It was an old arcade game. It was like kind of like a beat 'em up almost. Uh, and it was in this place called Pizza Hut. And it was the only game that worked. It was in Pizza Hut? Yeah. Well, no, it was called, actually it was called Pizza Inn, but it was like a version of Pizza Hut. That's where the game takes place? No, that's oh, where the, the game arcade, yeah, the arcade game was at. Gosh, who is this Joe and Mac? Because they have a whole system that RetroBit gave us. Really? Yeah. They have a whole system that just has their game. I mean, they might have a couple of them. Shit, that's the only one. Is that the flame thing again? Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Oop. 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 Yeah, see, like that. You can't run and jump. You gotta Get away still. from me. Oh, yeah. They, they didn't, want, didn't want you to catch your breath. Fuck. Fuck. Oh! I just realized that my man was gonna explode over there. Oh my god, this game. So I think what, what you're supposed to do is kill that brain thing, right? And yep. then I don't even think that thing moves until you go past it. And then yeah. it slides down. So. I'm not used to that shit. <laughs> so, 
It's like, why are you here? Why aren't you getting destroyed? Oh, you were waiting. You're waiting. The plot. The plot. Now, question: Are you fighting ghouls? I noticed like a lot of knights got missions to go fight witches and magical beings and shit like that outside of just you know France. Uh, mm. uh, which side are you on? Are you more of the you know I, I'm like Game of Thrones? I'm fighting for the land, or are you up here secret missions slaying dragons and witch witches? I would prefer not to be dealing with the wench winches of that time who are not only beautiful but also powerful. Yes. Because you gotta think about that time. Man. You see a powerful woman in the woods looking all dolled up. Ah! But then you gotta kill her. Why? You gotta bring her head back. Well, most witches were supposed to be. Witch. They're yeah. not dolled, dolled up, are they? Hell yeah. Witches are deceitful. Witches? Yeah. They're cute. Yeah, they want to be. They I don't know about that. They want to. They want to give you your deepest, darkest desire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like in uh, God of War when yeah. you had that threesome. Yeah, they would have got me right there. <laughs> that would have been done deal. I would have been no, done no, deal. No, 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 no. There you go. Gonna explode. Ah! You gotta get rid of them before they. Uh, See, I was trying. Too big. This game doesn't reward you killing everybody. Everything just comes back. And yeah, this is just a lot of them. Get the bag. <laughs> that was he didn't even way too, jump. way too particular. He was like, oh. this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, guys. All right, you got this. Let's go. Let's try to get it's getting, back to it's the It's low key getting a little easier. We've at least seen the boss now. We know it's right. a giant yeah. ass bird. Oh, did you beat? You beat it, right? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, that was the boss of this part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so move. Now, question. Um, let's say y'all got a little bit of money. Uh, enough to buy you less say a good little plot of land on this earth, right? No. Dragons. Jesus. If chance to have one, oh, of course. you get one. Yeah. I'm instantly in. Wouldn't it make you a pro public target though? Because they definitely come to kill that dragon. This is true, but that's why I threw out the plot of land thing, mm -hmm. just in case if you needed to be secluded. Yeah. Or would you be secluded? You know that's the only way it works, right? No, not really. Like, like, let's say, you know, you stay downtown in a condo, but you at the top, and he can come land on the helipad. Meanwhile, he just like his living is in like Burbank and shit. <laughs> so like, we keep seeing smog and fire just throwing into the sky at like two in the morning. And big ass rolls. No, I'd buy a dragon, man. I'd I would. Have, yeah, I'd have a pet dragon. Oh Jesus Christ! I just let that happen. Now, do, do you have a, do you have a distinct type of dragon you want? Well, not like type, but like if you I'm had a black name, dragon, you want a black dragon? Black okay. it out. I'm glad you saw where I was going. Uh, I need a dragon that has. I want a dragon that doesn't have big front arms. I want a dragon that has the T Rex arms. Yeah. What? What? I don't know. I just don't like the dragon. The all four for a dragon is kind of weird too. I look at a T-Rex, I'm like, you could put wings on that, that's a dragon. You want the dragon knight? Yeah, yes. Yes, I do. So yeah, that, I, that's how I would like my dragon to work. How would you ride him? Pause. <laughs> Come here! I would want, I wouldn't want to saddle him on his back here, I'd rather be on his head. Like that old television show, the, the, the story that never ends, what is that? Never ending story? That's... Thing. Never ending story. What that 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 uh, white dragon with the beard? Yeah, that was a dog. First of all, what a dragon! It was a dog. It was a dog. You got me. Confused. What? No. Never ending story is by far. It was one of the greatest things you've seen as a kid, and then you got older. Like, shit, shit, what the trash. fuck was I watching? Yeah. Yeah. It was a rock that ate rocks. Okay. A rock? It was a living rock that ate rocks that for nourishment. Part. That was his problem. Then there was a whole scene where this dude had this old luscious ass white horse just looking good, got it trapped in the fucking swamp, and it died. Why? I was because it couldn't trade. So it basically yeah. had to stay there. Doesn't sound like a dark movie when you hear the title. Right. Shit is depressing. Just Ooh. like this fucking game. This game is uh, depressing. Let me get this. But yeah, I can drag it. Uh, I know you want a black one. I, I kind of go with. Black, a little bit of hint of green in there. 
Mm. Oh, just like the how to trade jacket. Yeah, yeah. Call yeah. Minimal. Yeah, oh, I like that. Actually, you know what? I take all that back. I take all that back. If I had a dragon, I would oh. this dragon. Oh, Shenron. Nice. I want Shenron. Nice, good choice. Man, with all the power up. Yeah, I was about to say the same one, or just looks like him. Okay, so here's my thing. If it is the power, do I have to still go get all the Dragon Balls for this to work? Every time. Anybody got time for that? No, nah, I do it. If I got money, that's probably the only thing I would be doing. Like, think about it. Like, you know how, how expensive a scouter must be? <laughs> yeah, but if I if I got a, a magical dragon that can wish me all kind of wishes, like, I can just, like, yeah, take care oh, of all of that. Be like, let me get, like, $78 billion. I'll make sure or, to bring you back. Or Zinni's in his, in his thing. Okay, look, I need y'all to build me a no. scanner. Oh, uh, no, it's forward. And I need to go search these Dragon Balls. So yeah, I'm taking Shinron. I just, was, just for the simple fact, I want to call that nigga just randomly. Be like, oh, oh, so we tripping right now. <laughs> ben, watch this oh. shit. Hmm. Like, what the fuck is the, why is it Why is it attached to your watch? Why the clouds getting dark? That's how we communicate, because I'd have a transponder in his ear so he knew how to contact me. There you go. Unless he's magical and we can be mentally connected, that'd be a lot better. Kind of like some avatar shit. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of extras to this dragon thing. I don't think any this exists anywhere. <laughs> but but talking talk about, talk about a non-existent creature. Are you trying to have the gist I'm just saying every every depiction, everything we talked about up until now had depictions that existed somewhere. What? I've, I've named everything that we've seen from a Shinron type of dragon. But we can. But is that medieval, though? Yeah, I don't, we don't. Medieval? Listen, we don't technically know when Dragon Ball Z and what timeline that was. They don't ever say a year. No. Actually. Do we even know that dragons existed, or was that literally made up? Like dragons and unicorns are the same thing. Oh, non-existent. Like, yeah. is there like a group of people who like found dragons and shit? Yeah. Like, did that actually ever happen? No. That, that just now hit me. Like, yo, dragons never existed. I mean, not in, uh, that would be considered like a paranormal thing, like Bigfoot. Wow. My oh, mind. shit. Or like, or so like sorry, a unicorn. Boy. I think you're supposed to wait for that second jump. Yeah. Ah, can we please get back to the boss? Well, if you can't get to him, I think this would be a great, this is literally the last life we got. Yeah. Oh, my God. But yeah, that's my, that's my choice of dragon. We chose to play ghouls, ghosts and ghouls because, God oh. damn it. Because it's Halloween themed, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me tell you guys, I love Halloween time. Right? Same. And right now, this is making me fucking hate Halloween, Halloween. time. You, know, your, you know, we just want to skip to November? Yeah, man. What, what's your favorite thing about Halloween? You know, it's it's the candy, it's the time of, like, how the weather comes. Oh, God! Uh, uh, baby Cleo. <laughs> baby Slick Lip. <laughs> Look at him jump. Um... It's the candy. It's just the time of year like that. You can start wearing hoodies for real. Yeah. Especially here in Los Angeles. You can actually start wearing hoodies, so. Ah. Screw it. Mother. We'll pause, we'll pause this and finish off about Halloween. What about ah! you, okay? Um, I think it's the spookiness. I like the aesthetic that it just, like, goes from, like, hey, it's summer to, like, haunted houses, spider webs, masks, costumes. Like, I remember, um... A big thing for me about the holiday season was like back before Netflix when we were kids like all, remember all the commercials changed around the holidays mm -hmm. and then like they started uh, they'll start advertising for like uh, all the Halloween mazes or like um, uh, like all the uh, Halloween shows would start coming on like Hocus Pocus yep. and shit like that uh, same with like um, Christmas and the M&M commercials yep. just like how everything changed and then people just decorate their houses that's why that and Christmas is like so dope to you? The best, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine's is the memories uh, that I used to have. Because it was the first time as a kid you got to experience nightlife. Because mm. again, you, you were in the house by the time the sun went down. So it wasn't point. like in them streets walking around and stuff like that. And then you get to be with your friends, mm -hmm. walk around the neighborhood. My personal favorite thing about that was you get to go to the white people area and see the candy differential. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Over there. Because, you know, facts. walking around my spot, first of all, in my neighborhood, you'd be lucky if anybody and would have candy. Yeah, because the way we had it, it was a rule. If you didn't have candy, cut your lights off. 
So yep. we're gonna come knock on yeah. the door. Got yeah, it. yeah. If you had your lights on, that mean you had candy. Right. Yeah. And then in my neighborhood, it was always the creepy ass motherfuckers that either had uh that or- that candy in the orange wrapper that was white. I guess it was taffy mm-hmm. from what we just learned. Tootsie Rolls, uh we got a little bit older, it was Milky Ways. Yeah. Uh candy corn for some strange reason. I don't like candy corn. I hate candy corn. I don't corn. Like I've candy. never met someone who liked it. I didn't know you were supposed That's to bite them really in sections. All of the sections are different flavors. I didn't know that. I've never seen We should bite. test that. Yeah, if you bite the candy corn. We should corn, test that. Well, I saw somebody flavors. biting one thing of candy corn two times, I would think they're a cereal. Candy. That's what I thought too. <laughs> so I was, and, and then I tried it and I saw myself in the mirror like, you look like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Because you're not going to do this because your fingers too close. You literally have to. Like, you look section cool. by section. Yeah, just imagine if you outside on the corner, just somebody passing by and they're doing this. Nope. Like, what the fuck I'll is that? I'll throw the whole candy in. Yeah. After that. But then you go to uh, the white neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. They just not only are they hitting you with the name brand shit, they hitting you with full, full size. size. Full size. It was like the apples. And they giving you one and two of them. They like, no, 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 grab what you want. I can take three of these six balls, but I meant to say four. I'm like, yes, please get some here. It's just, just I used to go to a place back. called Toluca Lake. It was just nice as hell. There was yeah. even like a visual effects artist that made this maze and made this ghost like appear in one of the windows. It was like fucking lit. like it was like some of them had like you can go through their houses and it was just like. Damn. The difference is immaculate. It's yeah. worth the it's worth the drive. <laughs> now, uh, being being from Los Angeles, I gotta find. I heard something, but I don't know if it was true. I heard there was this area in Los Angeles that got like I guess like Disney developers or whatever that live in like that neighborhood and stuff. And it's like the place to be. It'd be oh, like visually lit. I, the candy is dope. Yeah, you talking about candy can candy cane lane? That's what it is. Never been there. But I have never? never been there. That I've never. heard I've heard about. It. I try to go every single year. So there's two of them I found out. There's one kinda in Marina Del Rey area, but the one we always went to is kinda in the valley. That's the and one I heard of. It's basically like it might be like ten blocks. It's like a huge area and I think something when you move there you kinda have to agree to do this, but they go full out and it's just like you have to find some type of parking. And some people, I last time I went, I had to park really far away. But once you're in, you just walk around and everybody goes like crazy. Like it's not just like, oh, they have like nice lights. It's like lights, shit moving in the yeah, front. Like fun. it's like, yeah. they go crazy. all in. No, yeah, they they go, go, I've heard, all in. I've heard so many up. stories. Like I've heard like they like some like front yard had the scene from uh, the This Is Halloween from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. They were actually moving and performing. And the song will go, and then they'll stop for like 20 minutes and then let it play again. And it's like, you'll see all of them come out, and they had to do where Jack pops out and something. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I must find this place. That sounds- that's Christmas time, right? Not Halloween. No, no, there was one in Halloween, too. Because okay. they would give out like gang of candy and stuff like that. Nice. that that's how I had heard it. But I did also hear, heard later it was like the Christmas thing, too. Uh huh. And so, so people, they just have to be festive that time. Like when, when the holidays come out, it's just like every holiday, you got to hit it. I don't think they do Thanksgiving, though. No, I don't think you really just... How do you decorate Thanksgiving? I don't know, like the pilgrim shit, you know, like yeah. the, the, the basket that had like spilling fruits all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever that's part of the or whatever that's Leaves. Oh, Jesus. Pumpkins, uh, yeah. Pumpkin pie. Annoying mm-hmm. tablecloths with fall leaves on them. Just for some reason. <laughs> I was like, how, how they work in like islands that got palm trees? Like, uh, like, they try to make it seem like the turkeys are happy, like, yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Like, they're good. And yeah. turkeys are fucking rude. Hell yeah, rude. Yeah, so I was in SAP for some reason. Randomly, you normally you see like geese, maybe birds. No. Turkey. Just turkeys just walking around. Mm. And then like I seen two of them one time in my apartment and I was coming down the stairs and never in my life, even by even some of the hardest gangsters <laughs> did I ever feel threatened <laughs> than two turkeys <laughs> to stop it mid gobble and just look at you like mid gobble. Fuck is this? <laughs> I went back upstairs. They like followed my eye. They eyesight just looked while I went down the stairs. Like, fuck is this? Thing? Just, I was like, no, I'm going back in the house. Fuck this. Shout out to all the turkeys. Shout out, out to the coming. turkeys. I like the turkey legs. Shout out to Disneyland for the best turkey legs on earth. 
Better than uh, uh, better than medieval times. Be- I've never been. Oh, you have never been. Okay, but they have some good turkey legs. I'm trying to tell you though, Disneyland got everybody beat. Man, I'm gonna take you to the turkey hut, Houston, Texas, man. All the right, turkey we'll, we'll hut, turkey out. hut, turkey leg hut. Turkey, turkey leg, leg, turkey oh, leg that's, that's specialty. It's so good it ain't even a fucking restaurant. It's like a shack under the freeway. What? It'd be packed. I swear, th- there's hey, a what spot in New Orleans so that's like a shack that. under the freeway. They, they was like, yo, man, we keep we keeping the funky, man. Look, it's just turkey legs. I got a pit. I, this is how I cook. I don't need no building. Come get your shit and go. Yeah. There's a spot in New Orleans like that that's really popular that's underneath the freeway. Yep. And like you said, it's a shack. What? People love that. Why, why would people go... What? That's packed? Yes. Dog. Shack legs, shack turkey legs. So you say it, but then you're going to bite into one and you're going to be like, they're probably seasoned this shit. Out. So why not get a restaurant with a kitchen? I mean, because then you got to worry about, like, one, one, two, you also have to worry about ordinance then when you open stuff like that. How many people you can have in there, seating, making sure that stuff is all up to code and everything. You don't have to do none of that on the trip? Well, not with Hutch, you just got to worry about the inside of the, uh, the kitchen area. And stuff like that because they can stay in there and eat, but it's like it's not obligated for them to be there. Mm-hmm. It's not served as that. It's just served as food for you to be to have and go. Right? Own oh, food. Right, well, so, happy Halloween, you, you guys. <laughs> yes. uh, we are dropping a whole bunch of Halloween content. Um, man, we got a lot of games to play. Lots of games. We're finishing games. Little Nightmares. Yes, Little we are. Nightmares. Gotta finish Little Nightmares. Nightmares. House of the Dead. We're gonna be playing. Uh, two versions of House of the Dead. I believe House mm-hmm. of the Dead 2 mm-hmm. and then uh, House of the Dead some, something or other. You guys will see it. We're going to be trying some PC games as well. Yes. We're going to be trying some very scary PC games. But at night time. Yeah, I'm trying to be scared. Try. I'm yeah. trying to be scared out my mind. Yeah, man. Let's get spooky, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Arcade Tokens. Big yeah. shout out to uh, Retro K. Retro, retro bit. bit Gaming. Retro Bit Gaming. Yes. yes. For sending yeah. us the Retro K. Uh, with all these old school games on it. We got a couple more to do, man. Yeah, we, do. we got to yeah. do Mega Man, we got to do Strider. We got yeah. to do a couple of these. Trying to hit that double dragon, too. Yeah, What's man. Up? We'll see you guys soon. I go by the name of Cleo Thomas. I came in Slick Living. I am Will Farrow. Patrick Cloud. See you guys later. Peace. Peace.